watching at Meet the Verma. Today I wanted to share a difficult project that I'm working on because I know so many of you struggle with the very same thing in your home. Now in my home I have a really long wall that leads down to my master bedroom. I waited for a long time to find the perfect solution for it and I'm working on it right now. So today I wanted to share a few ideas that I considered when I was facing this project of how to design a long art wall. Now one of the ideas that I considered was having a series of paintings going down the hallway. This can be a great way to tell a story and especially so if you love a particular artist. I could have opted for three different canvases if I had selected this route. If I had done so I probably would have gone for a painting size around 24 by 36 and they would have all been the same size. I didn't go this route because we have a very beautiful antique chinoiserie painting at the end of the wall which is perpendicular to this long wall so it would have been far too conflicting to have two walls with series of paintings on them. Another great way to use an art wall is to use architecture to break up the art wall. We could have flanked each end with a pair of shutters to create more of a focal point in the remaining center space. Another great use of a long wall is to create a unique grouping of vintage art, paintings, engravings, and even frame in your children's art. This is a solution I plan to use in another part of my home where I have yet another long art wall. So this couldn't be the solution for my downstairs wall. If you can get your hands on a long piece of artwork, which is very rare, this would be a perfect place to create a very stunning focal wall. What I decided to do was create a collection of similarly framed objects on my wall. On one of my antique hunts, I came across a fantastic collection of antique intaglios. They were so beautiful and I was so excited to find more than just a few. To decide how many to frame, I simply sketched out my wall dimensions and worked in a few different frame sizes to see how I can make a unique arrangement. When I was deciding on how to address this wall, I definitely considered a few things. I looked at what was surrounding this wall. The chinoiserie painting, possibly crystal sconces, all had hints of gold, a piece of painted furniture, the ceiling heights, the ceiling heights in my space are about eight feet. The hallway width, the hallway width is three feet wide at one point and then opens up to a maximum of five feet space. So there really wasn't much room to take in a huge painting. So do the same when you're thinking about your home. See what's around on the other walls, such as the art, paintings, family pictures, and more how tall your ceilings are, and then how wide your space is. So did you find some inspiration for your tough art walls? Leave a comment and let us know which idea might work best for you, or if you've stumbled upon another great idea, we'd love to see it. Did you like this video? If so, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then head over to our website where you can sign up for more free design tips know someone that's struggling with this exact problem, I'd love the honor of you sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. I always look for both large scale and small scale floral fabric. Now here's 